Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing a Naya lands deck in Midnight Hunt Standard with Ren and Seven and Morag. Morag is the one I'm really excited for here. It creates a bunch of extra combat steps every time that we attack in. It, things get buffed, plus one plus oh for each time it has attacked this turn. So as lands enter the battlefield, we get extra combat steps. Ren and Seven really helps with that so that we have the ability to you know, get lands to our hand with a plus one ability, then put any number of lands from our hand onto the battlefield tapped. And with this, each landfall trigger will create an additional combat phase, and then we'll untap those creatures at the beginning of that combat, uh, and they'll keep attacking and go crazy. And so all we need to do then is build a decently wide board, and we have a turn six win, potentially. So the idea here is we get, we have Yasharn to give lands to hand, we have Essence Chariot, Felidar Retreat to make sure we create lots of tokens, we have Scoot Swarm to create lots of tokens, then just a couple of creatures in the early game, game to make sure we ramp up to stuff a little bit quicker lotus cobra rusa root grazer and the idea is to try to get out you know four or five creatures that we can attack in with that would be a lot but still if we have a few creatures you can attack in with get through their chump blockers it hit in for tons and tons of damage then if we have four combat steps we can do potentially like 40 points of damage on turn six potentially turn five with a little bit of rampageness and whatever it's going to be sweet. So that's the idea. That's the dream is that we can kind of go off with this deck, make sure that we hit our land drops, hit our ramp pieces, make sure that we hit our token generators so we can start making those. And then Ren at seven, grab a bunch of lands, put them all into the battlefield at the same time for Morag to swing in for tons of damage. We have one storm of the festival to go find all those things. Phylath to kind of be an additional way to go wide as well as just have lots of land landfall triggers hidden for tons of damage as well Ren at seven is just the perfect landfall card it's amazing it's really really good Eska's chariot also creates extra uh, copies of the tokens with Ren and seven as well you guys have probably run into that already it's disgusting and uh that, that's the deck so let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay see how it does for us and wish me luck here we go joey j mac we have root grazer we'll keep this Green source. Pass the turn. Rook Razor lets us get up to Yasharn on the next turn and then fill out our retreat after that. Ooh. I like it. Yeah, Rook Razor. So we have the ability to play this out, tap it for mana, bring it back to hand. Or no, uh, let's see here. We can just play out the other one. Right. That'll, that'll be better. All right, so white mana... You know what? Um, dang it, I can't undo it now. I can just decline. I meant to attack in first. Yasharn. Getting in for that two points of damage could have been pretty sweet. I need to remember that. Attack in with this guy first and then do it. So Felidar for this next turn. Feels like a... Oh, nice. Okay. I'm not going to counter this. I like it. Felidar Retreat. Create a cat. Um, attack in with both these guys. Um, do I want more damage right now? Or another cat later? Board wipe's still a possibility with this Doom Scar. So I think I want more damage now. Just in case. Down to 15, pass the turn. If it is Doomscar, there goes Kazuma. We don't have Morag's Fury at all. Maybe keeping one more land would have been nice. So I could have held this back to like put a land back to hand, keep going off with it. Red mana. Red mana would be good for Morag. Three colors. Three color decks just aren't seeming to work quite like I'd like. All right. So the Doomscar did come. Ooh. Scoot Swarm. Do you have another one? Pretty cat. Uh, yeah, while they're tapped out, we'll play out the Philidar again. Pass the turn. All we have to do is find lands now. And we win this game. Cleric class. No Doom Scar. Good sign. Faithful Mending trying to dig for it. Come on, red mana. I think that's all we really want now. J. 
chariot. Um, they're digging for a board wipe. Odds are they're going to find it. Now, I still want chariot on the battlefield because even if we just find a land later, we get to crew it up with the two cats we make, create an extra cat. So life is still good. Okay, mending again. Draw two cards, discard two cards. We still have a Kazuma as well. I think Kazuma would be really interesting with the Root Grazer as well, so you can like flash it back at instant speed, basically. Down to 17. Ooh, ah. Brings it back now. No, puts it out there. Splendor. It's beautiful. Note your light to life total. Jug hard if it's higher. Cast white spell. Gain some life. All right. Interesting. So this is just a life gain deck. Pass to my turn. Another filatory tree. I mean, I don't hate it. All right, attack like this. Decent amount of damage. Down to nine, pass the turn. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if your life total is higher. So yeah, not happening this time. They can find Doomscar in the land here and clean up this board. They found the Doomscar. They find the land. They have the land. Come on, bring out Cosma. Oh, fine. All right. And they dug really deep for that, so it's it's fair. It's understandable. Um, and lands would be really sweet. Chariot again. Keep this one. Make sure the life total goes lower. I mean, I don't think we have bad draws, except for, I guess... There's a couple of draws that are bad here. Our removal spells don't seem to be very useful. So we can find uh, Root Grazers, Lotus Cobras, uh, Fateful Absence are bad draws. Ren and Seven, Chariot, our last fellow tree. Any lands would be great. 43% to draw those, and it's been a few turns. So, I mean, decent chance. I, I like what they're doing, though. There's just tons and tons of card draw. Faithful Mending with Cigar to Splendor. Cleric Class to gain extra life whenever they do stuff. And then I'm sure they have the uh, Cosmos, uh, whatever thing that... Get, uh, if they have life total above 20, then they draw cards or gain lots of life along the way. Like, everything just gains them life. Come on. Deck. This is getting absurd. All right, Rook Razor, we play out. Because we can start getting landfall triggers with it. Um, Can't run it into Kazuma. Yeah, we have to keep that threat available. Pass the turn. Deck! <laughs> the last game, we could not stop finding lands. This game... We're just like, we got to this many and we're, we're done. Like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's enough for you. We even tutored up two of these lands. So it's not like we found like a ton of lands. We found five lands off the top of our deck with, uh, so 43 cards left, 27, or it's, it's 20, uh, it's a lot of lands. We have lots of lands in the deck. 28, with two of them being modal lands. I'm a little unsteady. Yeah, Cigar to Splendor is basically an extra copy of the Cosmos, whatever thing that draws some cards. 
Field of Ruin, please activate that. Yeah, gain some life. What does this guy do? Search library for equipment card. Equipment? Oh, for an enchantment card. Sorry. I don't know why I read equipment there. So, more Cigar to Splendors. I mean, at some point, they're going to just draw way too many cards and mail out, too. Down to 19. We want to force a, another board wipe. I guess not necessarily. They still get Cosmo back, but we want this guy off the board. There's a Ren. Create the tree folk or just find lands. I think right now it's finding lands. Getting to ultimate as well is not a bad way to go. All right, play out a red source. I think we're just making all of the tokens. We win by going wide. Return a basic land back to hand, play it out as well. Put a bunch of things on the battlefield. How, how close to reach to this guy? A little ways away. All right, pass the turn. All right. Looks like they do have the Doom Scar. They have seen our Morag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can bounce a, a land back to hand. If we draw another land, we can put... Oh, they all come out tapped, right? Yeah, okay, whatever. The biggest thing we don't have right now is haste. So if they do have board wipes, it's still annoying. But we can guarantee two land fall triggers on this next turn. You have not shaken our spirit. Kind of surprised with that attack. If they don't have the Doom Scar, it's not very good. All right, there it is. Okay. So uh, return basic land back to hand. I guess I can't actually play it out again with this one, but more landfall triggers means we get to keep doing this more times. It's good. This counter is non creature spell, so Storm the Festival is going to be an issue. Red mana is interesting. So we get to play with Morog that way. I don't think I want to show that yet. They're tapped out kind of though. Can I, I can't, I need, I need to build a, a board first. So let's actually, um, negative three this time, force them to try to find a board wipe again. Negative three, Eskis Chariot. I can make multiple copies of this too though. All right, so let's go farmland. Uh, let's just make beasts for now. Not going to grow the chariot. I mean, this is a, what we built up, is that we're able to rebuild our deck, our board state, basically every single turn. They're able to draw through their stuff, but they're going to run out of... Uh, maybe they won't run out of board wipes. They have a few things they can do there, I guess. They have uh, Vanquish the Horde and Doom Scars. Huh. 
How do they actually plan on winning? Kind of expecting a fateful absence at some point for this chariot. Draws a couple more cards. I mean, they're trying all of the cards in the world. All right, so the dream here is we force another board wipe. Cosma comes back. Does not yet. We Morog and have SS Chariot just hit in like four times if we find enough lands here. And we can buff it up with the uh, Philidar Retreats too. Feels a little bit weird. All right, how many board drives have we seen? Doomscar. We've seen... They know that we have this Morog too. Doomscar, Fateful. That's a lot. That's three, four... Four board wipes. I feel like they're going to be playing six. We're trying to find an answer for this Ren now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost to the storm of the festival. Um... Cat, cat, cat. Get some more lands. More red sources. Oh man, I don't really want to play more until I know I, I have people to hit in with. Yeah. Just attack in. Your life total is really high. So, though, we get to rebuild this size of a board every single turn with lands now. So, pass the turn. We'll wait until, it, uh, you know, stuff stays on board for a turn. And then we'll Morag, play out lands, be able to hit in a couple times. And give stuff Vigilance as well, so it'll work out. Kills the Wren. Kills with one threat, but now they don't have blockers. Board wipe, potentially. Doesn't kill Wren. So we have Storm the Festival online now as well. We don't want to play Morag. One, two, yeah. Yep. I wish they would just show a number of lands here, like along with this. That would be really great. Just like how many lands do they have? It would be great information. It doesn't have to have like anything more like the colors or whatever. That would be sweet if it showed the colors you have as well. But whatever. All right, there it is. All right, so they're still going to have the block to not be. Well, maybe they could be OK here. So we get Storm the Festival. Three Felidar Retreat triggers. Potentially more with this Ren and Seven. I mean, yeah. Okay, Morag. I, I think we just go wide here. We go all of them. Counter so they don't die. So much. <laughs> These guys are gonna be massive. This is what we decide this is what we we're trying to build up to, and I think it's working. Only one mana left up. Lots of extra combat steps after this one. It's big, I've decided. Yeah, so go to combat. I missed one combat technically with that, but it's it's fine. We have four more. 
they have to block every single time. Now we have four more combats. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack in with Chariot as well, because why not? Yeah, that's what I should have done. I should have played Morag, untapped with Chariot, and then went off with it. Good game, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sweet stuff! Oh, yeah. He's good. Ooh. I like it. I'm against Spell Snare, and I may be tuning into this Marissa Root Razor because it only puts basic lands onto the battlefield, and we don't have one of those right now. So it's just it's just kind of awkward. Uh, the mana base is still fine here. We'll definitely get up to fill it our retreat. We have a chance to still grow with this. I, I did shove a few extra basic lands and took out some of the other lands. Okay, there we go. Life is good. Uh, through the saw green, pass the turn, Delver, instant flip. Oh my gosh. All right. Good for you. <laughs> wow. They're just going full on buff mode. That sounds fun. Instead of like playing all the control version, just like we flip it. We have tons of power on the board. So we're just going to make it hurt for you. Actually sounds really fun. As okay. Go root grazer. Does not have reach, unfortunately, but it does have vigilance. So we can attack and then throw stuff on the battlefield. Down to 14. Delete. All right. Uh, farmland. Attack in. And activate this one. Put out a forest onto the battlefield. And then I think it's Eska's Chariot. I don't think I know it is. <laughs> Down to 18, Chariot. Make sure we can block this elite before it gets too crazy. I actually really like what they're doing here. It's different. It's unique. And that's what I love. So a bunch of buff magic. So they probably have the uh, one mana uh, dude that also buffs itself as well with, whenever you, uh, with Spellcraft. You guys know what I'm talking about. So Bull Rush gives Trample. Felidar Retreat can grow our guys if we hold off and have more people. Um, so the question is, how do we do this? I could try double blocking. We know that they have something to buff it already to kill through. Uh, I guess I just force them to block with one. Can't really think of anything better. Ren and Seven token, I think, is going to be our best bet here. Make copies of that so we have the biggest things possible. Wow, bounce is something as well. Oh, no. I did not expect that. That's good. That's really good. Um, Yeah, it's still Ren and Seven. And make the token... Get a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, make another one. Down to 12. And pass the turn. Man, I am terrified of what they're doing right now. Quadrix Command, putting two counters onto this. They got an extra counter. Got to bounce the other thing. Man, wow. And all the damage has just been done by this Delver. I want to play this deck. This looks so fun. Swings at Ren. So yeah, we already know that they're killing Ren here. So I, we don't actually stop the damage there. We also force them to not play anything extra, but we have another Ren, so it's fine. No blocks. I mean, I could force him to spend spells when it's not at our face. Use, make him use trample, something like that. Like I could have chump blocked with the root razor. That probably would have been the better play. Pass him my turn. I mean, SS chariot here is pretty sweet as well. Um, I can go fill it our retreat. Yeah, we're going to hold off on the Ren and Seven. I can make a bunch of these guys, which can be good, but uh, we're going to go ahead and make an extra one here now. Chariot. Uh, I'm expecting Chariot to die, and I'm okay with that. 
Um, counters on the ones that we have. Make it a little bit harder to kill Chariot. Do I get aggressive here? They're going to have to play a lot of stuff to actually get through for the damage. They're going to want to try to kill S's Chariot. We get one blocker and another blocker here, so we can put out quite a bit of toughness. I think we actually do attack with all of them. So yeah, create an extra copy there. <laughs> Wish I had a, a basic land right now. Oh, that'd be so good. Oh, this has Vigilance too. I forgot from the Philidar. Oh, it untaps it? Ooh, forgot about that part. It untaps it. I needed to actually read cards one of these days. They didn't block the 7-7. Seven, seven. Whoa. The greed is real. I mean, we've already seen Quanjic's commands, which are terrifying. We saw their trample card. That untaps it as well. Whew, man. Okay. I really want to play this deck now. This is looking real fun. Don't be surprised if it shows up in the next couple of days. <laughs> this is my favorite thing about magic is like the thing that you're doing is awesome. I want to do that thing. And that's just how magic should be. Should be so fun. Charge through. Cool. Gets to draw a card trying to find something here. Bang Scarlet Elite and then scoops it up. Sweet stuff. All right. I like that. Nice. Uh, terrible hand. So we got to mulligan that one away. A lot of these come in untapped later hand cards. Still not a good hand either. No ramp. None of our two drops. Three drops though. And yeah. Do we mulligan again? I hate going down to five, but yeah, okay, that's better. All right, so keep five. We drop Morog, and is it S's Chariot or Ren? S can come out on turn three and pretty, pretty amazing. And we have four of these. We'll try that out. Uh, I'm going to lead off with, I guess, tap land. These can come in untapped later, of course. I don't know. Get out the stuff I want. Go Cobra. Pass the turn. Monk of the open hand. All right. I'm hoping so. Uh, Faithful absence is going to be the main removal piece. Totes will cleric. Interesting. They didn't play this second. Ooh, another Cobra. Uh, that gives us three mana if I play it out as well. So yeah, we go Chariot first. Pass the turn. Is this instant or sorcery speed? Sorcery speed. Homestead Courage. Usher of the Fallen. This deck is pretty scary as well. I've, I've seen this one play quite a bit. and It's, it's just like all one drops, but it's so good. All right, yeah, it gets lots of things. Good for you. Um, I could trade off. I could throw out the S's Chariot or something like that and trade off with this. They just put a ton of effort into getting this up to a big creature. Once it's gone, they're going to be a little bit more stuck. And then it's a top deck wars issue is that I don't have a ton of stuff going for me after that point. But I'm, I'm going to be a little bit greedy here and say that we're going to be able to kill this. All I lose is the chariot itself. I get to keep all of my other stuff on board. Like, yeah, that's it's not like the most amazing thing for us there, but it ain't bad. Uh, yeah, I already have double white sources, so we're good there. Play Root Grazer. Attack, attack. I, I would love for them to trade off with anything I have here. 
Um, so I think we go a little bit aggressive. Yeah, with us being empty handed, I want to keep as many things on our board as possible and as few things on their board as possible. And so we made that happen. Yeah. All right. Well. Swing in with those guys. Should have swung with the Lotus Cobra as well. That's fine. Pass the turn. They get to start growing their board. We got them down to 14, and now we were the aggressor. Another Aspirant. All right. Scary. Both counters onto him. Okay, pass is my turn. Oh, come on now. I think I'm actually holding on to that in case we find a Felidar retreat or something. We we need to be able to get lots of value immediately with this deck. I can throw this onto the battlefield at any time with this guy as well, so it's not like we're getting behind by not playing a land. Monk of the open hand. All right. We did what we needed to, though. We stonewalled them a little bit to slow the game down a bit, but this is starting to get a little bit crazy. We need to get rid of these guys in fast. That's a Morog. Morog is fun. All right. Yeah, we actually get to do some... Hmm. Let's see here. So Morog, I can bounce this back to our, our another uh, basic land back to our hand at the end step. So let's just pass the turn now. Try not to die. I would love for them to attack in very aggressively here. No reach. Light scribe. Yikes. And they're going so wide. We need to find something good. That's that's decent. Although it's not enough. Hmm. Alright, Scoot Swarm. Return this to hand. I meant to do that on the end step, and I didn't. I totally forgot. Because it would have been so nice to be able to do put it out again or whatever. Uh oh no, I wouldn't be able to. Doesn't matter. So I played that out a little bit wrong. I need to play out the land earlier. Um So I untapped it now. So I can bounce back another land. Um They're going really wide and we're in lots of trouble. If they want to trade off with this Morog, I'm more than happy to have that happen. Root Razor in between on. I think they're just going to take this damage. Maybe maybe trade off with this. Not this, take it. Yeah, that's what I would do. I already played out the land, unfortunately. So there is another combat phase. No attacks. Pass the turn. Yeah, so I need to play... With Morog's ability, I always mess it. I always mess it up. So it only untaps them at the beginning of the extra combat phases. Whoa, they—they they were ahead like crazy. I mean, if they couldn't kill us on the swing in, then they died on the crackback. Like that was the big thing. If we ever found a land, then Scoot Swarm goes crazy. I could bring back a land to hand, play it out, and then uh, as this untaps and does stuff with Morog, I can start kind of going off with the ability. Uh, so I, I mess up with it, but still, sweet stuff. All right, up against Calibian, and uh, only two cards we could actually cast with this, but a decent amount of ramp with this guy. So play this one out tap first, so we can have basic lands in hand to use with Root Grazer. Uh, green or white? I think green here, and Root Grazer. Pass the turn. Ooh, this is going to be sweet. We get to play Lotus Cobra on the next turn, get mana for whatever we need. How many of these do I have? All right, checking out Trusty Dusty MTG Assistant. I'm trying to remember how many I put into this deck with Root Grazer. Three, okay, I was gonna say, I think three is the right number because you don't have so many basic lands that you can kind of go off with it for forever. Lotus Cobra. 
All right, how much mana do I get here? I get one, two. So I want a uh, red. I want to kill the Ranger's class with this Ripper part. I kind of messed up with this because it can't attack in now, uh, but that's fine. Um, because I get to hold up Fateful Absence for something else. So we'll just kill Ranger's class. Pass the turn. And we get a bounce of land back and play Ren and Seven if we need to. Does not attack in. Um, I'll go throw that some ramp, but I, I think I'd, I'd rather just get rid of the threat for now. All right, so attack in with the Vigilant guy first. So return, land to hand. Dude, Rick Razor in Lotus Cobra is really cool. All right. Go Ren. Make a 4-4 four four here. I, I, I don't want to have to lose the Cobra to protect Ren. Uh, ticking up could have been really nice. We can do that next turn and get tons of value out of it still. Ren of their own. Um... What do I care about more? Getting rid of this tree folk or I can get rid of both actually. So let's do that. First off, tick up. One land. <gasps> no! Two Philidars and a Phyleth. No! <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> oh, that was so brutal. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Faithful Absence, kill this guy. We get to kill Red at 7 by attacking with these two Yoohoos. Play out Florahedron as just another chump blocker at times and pass the turn. Oh, man, that's the biggest downside of Red at 7. I guess if you get to the ultimate, though, you could put uh, permanence for your graveyard. You have no maximum. Wait. Return all permanents from your graveyard to your hand. You have no maximum hand size. Let me get rid of this MTG assistant, by the way. Links down the description below if you guys want to help support the channel. Many a clue token. Blizzard Brawl. Eh, yeah, that's annoying. Ranger class. Okay. Really awesome top deck that's not a land. Although it's a really high chance because I just milled three non-lands over. Yeah, yeah, that's I thought. Crap. <laughs> uh, we're going to keep trying to find lands, though, even if it mills over amazing things. Yeah. Um, ticking up to this negative eight would be really good. Getting more guys is also really good. Um, now, farmland... Pass a turn. We just try to protect Ren here, make the token, try to top deck other good stuff after this. Sacrifices finds a clue. So they could have killed Ren by going wide with, uh, I guess maybe not. I was going to say the Lair of the Hydra, but we would have liked that trade off. Level two. Goes a swinging. Do I want to trade off with that? Counter there. Okay. Uh, we do want to get the guy here. So we chump and trade. Come on, Eska's Chariot. 
We're uh, Morag isn't really amazing here. Phylath. Phylath would be really cool. Should have done that beforehand. That's fine. All right. Um, massive dude, because we have lots of lands. They prepare for war. Um, I guess white source. Why not? And pass the turn. All right. An 8-8 should be difficult to deal with now. Blizzard Brawls shouldn't deal with it immediately. They have lots of card draw, though. Eey. Yup, yup, yup. How do they get three clues? I'm trying to remember how that happened. This only came on the battlefield one time, right? I killed something of theirs, but it was only one fateful absence, right? Did they double up tokens somehow? Like, I don't know how they got the third clue. I'm sure I'm just missing it, but whatever. All right, passing my turn. Ugh, come on, Dak. I keep building over all of our good stuff and only finding lands. Like, this does not help with... Okay, that was, that was good. <laughs> All right, uh, Lair of the Hydra is very nice here. It does come in tapped, unfortunately. But that's another threat for us later. Pass the turn. Now if they attack all in, we can, we can swing back really aggressively. Cracks another clue. Yep. All right, so one from this guy. One from our Fateful Absence. There was only one. Oh, was it two abs Fateful Absences? Okay. Didn't I mill one of those over? I can't remember. Doesn't matter, I suppose. Okay, land out on the battlefield. We have a 10-10. Pass to my turn. For the love deck. We've got to be able to find something at some point. Do I keep taking up and just not finding anything but lands? Like, now we're going to build four things that aren't lands, like guaranteed. Yep, there you go. I. It's so bad, but we have to keep getting up to this stuff. Um, yeah, pass the turn. Oh, that's brutal. Creates a 4-4. Four, four. They're going to kill the Ren and 7. We just lost oh, everything. Scoot Storm would be so good. With Root Grazer and Ren. Whew. All right, yeah, we saw the Lair. So I think I'm actually not putting out lands yet. I, I, want, I want Landfall to be a thing I can do later. So let's go Yasharn. All right, that's good. That does stop the uh, sacrifice of the other guys here later. More basic lands. Do I just make another big guy and start swinging in with this one? Just say, I don't care about Ren anymore. We have all of the lands we will ever need. I need another tree folk. Getting to the ultimate would be sweet, but if it mills us out before, then not worth it. So I, I think we do just kind of tick down on this. Try to get value quick. Should have played out a land there. Get this up to a 13-13. That's fine. Swing in. Start putting on some pressure. They can block with old growth troll, or yeah, just chomp all day long. Alright, put out a planes. Pass the turn. We have lair 12-12-12-12 on the next turn, and guys that we can hold back as blockers. And with a 20 life total. Another tracker. Pack leader. Okay. They're going wide. Now they have the ranger class online. We might have enough creatures in this deck. We, we're playing a lot of non-creature spells. So I'm, I wasn't sure if ranger class would be something I'd want to play. I like Root Grazer instead of it for us.
We're still stonewalling, but not for very much longer. They're going wide enough now that we can't keep attacking in. Morog becomes so good here if we can do that, though. Ah, come on, Dak. We've had enough lands now. <laughs> I think we've drawn all of our lands. We have 28 in the deck, including uh, modal lands. Um, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't think we can attack. We have to try to stay back and walk five creatures. Pass the turn. All right, so let, let's look at this. Uh, number of lands left. There's still 36% lands left in the deck. I guess we've gone through a lot of the deck. A lot of our stuff ended up in the graveyard. That is the biggest downside of Red and Seven is we, I think we need to have card draw along with lands. If we had a Tat Yova type of effect, like lands into the battlefield, you draw cards, whoo, it'd be so busted. Um, I don't think we keep ramping. I really need to find something that can get in for value. I think we hold back. We just passed the turn right now. Yasharin is good, but it's good blocker right now. I don't want to have to replace it by myself. I'd rather block, trade off, play another one. We don't need the lands right now, so we're fine. Pass the turn. Okay. We have two layer of the Hydras. There's a Ren and Seven now. Now they get big, beefy dudes. Do not underestimate the forest because yeah. Getting to the ultimate would be nice, but you, you, I was going to mill myself out before I would be able to play everything. Oh my goodness. All of the lands coming out to buy us. How many lands do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 lands. So we still have 10 in 23 cards. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> um, okay. What are these? What are the lands is there? So we have nine. See, we should definitely be drawing more than the lands. <laughs> I mean, this deck is built around fighting lands. We just also didn't want to mill over all of our Felidar retreats earlier. <laughs> we have we have a, another couple. And we haven't seen a lot of Eskis Chariots. Morogs also would be really nice to see. Morog with what we have on board is actually really good where we can attack in kind of keep attacking in with these guys untap them to hold them back as blockers later force them to make, either make really big trades or uh yeah yeah you know or take the damage 11 11 they've got one of those when it's trying to do math to see if it's worth actually attacking in I don't think it is for them yet because of this layer of the Hydra. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we can make a 12, 12 out of nowhere. Or opponents just timing us out now with four timeouts. That would be less fun. So they're at attacks now. They didn't they didn't activate a layer of the Hydra, so I don't feel like it's an attack. They're close to being able to do some stuff, but I don't think quite there. They have an answer for a Philidor retreat already. Ooh. So that's not a good one. Eskis Chariot also gets killed by this guy. So we have to find two of those before too long. All right, I guess we'll try to make our guys a little bit bigger now since they have another one of their dudes. Loss of Blizzard's Brawl. That's actually really nice now. Another Ren and Seven. Makes another big dude. Uh, I think our best draw is Scoot Swarm. Scoot Swarm is huge. Ah, come on, deck. We can't just keep finding lands. 
could play a shard just to stop finding him a little bit more. Um, pass. I, I think they got us, though. They went really wide. They can buff us up, so that's 10 points of damage there that we'll probably have to let through. Yeah, I believe we're dead. If they if they activate the Lair of the Hydra, or both of them as like 4-4s, four oh, they're not gonna. All right, cool. Every chance that we had to find a Scoot Swarm, life gets amazing. Yeah, they're just going off. Next time, they definitely have it. I think they already did. Puts lands from the battle hand to the battlefield tapped. Makes their guys pretty big. Yeah, Ranger class really is what has uh, defeated us on this one right now. If they don't attack in this turn... Okay. Um... Basic land. Got those for days. Come on, deck. Ugh, that's not good enough. No, deck. We need to hold on to some lands for later. Pass the turn. In case they don't attack in here. I mean, we're just letting this game go on. I know that I'm mostly dead here. We just... I, this is the biggest issue with Red and 7. I, I need some sort of card draw besides this. Um, Toski could be really good. Toski could be sweet with Morag. Um, and so maybe... I'm already really stacked in the 4-drop slot, though. Yeah, we, are, we ramp up to it, but I don't know if I would take out removal or Scoot Swarms or something else for it. Like, So Toski seems like good, good uh, card draw. We, we need something else for card draw here as well. I mean, Ren draws us cards. Just lands. <laughs> Maybe I should have tried to get to the ultimate. Ah, they just had the same thing happen. <laughs> All of their chariots. That means we got rid of another blocker, though. But we saved our best blocker, so it's okay. It's all good. Ren. I mean, they clearly have lethal. I don't know what they're waiting for. I, I want to keep holding off, though, to see if we can find the Scoot Swarm. Which now we don't have enough lands to really go off with it. Oh, I don't know. I can play the Yasharn, find our last planes. I think we have one more. Oh, we found all of them. Five, six, seven lands left in the deck. Seven, yeah, so we have a... Two-thirds chance to try to, to find things that aren't lands. They should definitely attack here. I don't know why they're not using the Blair of the Hydras, though. You are you win by going wide and swinging in with more creatures than we have blockers, which you clearly have. I want to keep, you know, being okay with them not doing that. The best thing that can happen here is they don't commit all the way. They just attack with, like, some stuff. All right, there it is. Blair of the Hydra. Finally going to do it. Yeah, we're definitely dead. I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna try to block here. Alright, um that one's gonna die to anything it blocks anyway. So Trampley dudes, they don't have any mana there, so Get rid of these guys. I forgot to activate Lair of the Hydra. Yeah, okay. We, we were dead anyway. Yeah, well... All we had to do is another four points of damage. They sh Yeah, they should have attacked in way earlier. Anyway, that was fun. It was fun to try to see if we could ever find anything off the top, which I can't. That's just how it works for Jeffrey. And so, <laughs> on to the next one. <laughs>
Gosh dang it. All right, up against Hansky, and we have some ramp. Uh, we don't have this root grazer online though. Um, so a little bit awkward. We need white mana for Yashar and root grazer, fellow retreat, but we can get to S's chariot. I I'm still gonna keep this hand. We have turn two ramp. We have some of our colors. Go lair past the turn. We have 28 lands in the deck. So really high chance we'll draw into another ones in the next couple of turns. And I'm fine if it's three turns from now. I would be better if it was next turn. But you know, whatever. I don't know. Just more things I can't play. Uh-oh. Okay, go Tangled. Pass the turn. Our best bet is trying to get out Chariot on this next turn. Now if we find a, blue, a green source or red source, we have Chariot. Florahedron. Tax in. No blocks. Down to 19. No deck. We literally have, like, all of the white cards we have. We're not playing a ton of... I mean, yeah. Clearly, we are playing a ton of white cards. But we also have tons of white mana as well. Our chances to draw white mana here are pretty swell. Chances to draw 80 mana. Still great. This is our only tap land at this point. And it's here already. I'm not playing too many Lair of the Hydras or Creature Lands because we need basic lands for these Root Grazers. Down to 18. My turn. What? Wow. Okay. Uh... Okay, then. Odds to find lands. 50% basically. Especially multiple draws in a row. It's been at 48% this whole time. Because it's not including their other land that's... I guess our other tap land would be a mammoth. Yeah, okay. Just just done. We have been defeated by our land draws. I could have played this out of the land. Doesn't really matter here. They make another token. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. No blocks. Take the four. Just trying to see if we could even find a land on this next turn before we scoop. Because <laughs> we're done. I'm gonna say blizzard brawl or something like that no they don't have snow mana all right come on wow okay well we do find white mana kind of <laughs> oh there's the white mana i can play with yasharn i find some more lands here right now go for chariot on the next turn Tell our retreat go wide. I think we're just dead, though. I mean, I could try to play this out for a couple turns, but we're so far behind. That's just Chariot's going to make multiple of these copies if they find any lands, which obviously isn't going to happen with a Ren and Seven on the board. Like, we're just, it's just, it's over. On to the next one.